His name was J. Robert Oppenheimer, and if you don't know who he was, that may soon change, since Hollywood just put out the movie titled Oppenheimer. We're in a race against the Nazis. He is often called the father of the atomic bomb. Could somebody else have done it? Well, I suppose so. But what we know is he did it. And he was the person that put it together to do it. And it uh, is a remarkable compliment to General Groves's judgment that he chose somebody who could actually bring it off. David Hollinger is a historian and professor emeritus at UC Berkeley. It was at Berkeley where Oppenheimer taught for several years, right before he left to head the government's top secret Manhattan project to create the first nuclear weapons, atomic bombs, that were later dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan during World War II, killing thousands of people. He was the person in the seminar who almost always came up with the best idea. So all these people who report having been in these meetings with him, sort of they're going along about this or that, and then somebody raises a really hard question, and then Oppenheimer suddenly speaks up with his great lucidity and depth of insight and says something that, if it doesn't solve the problem, it at least moves the conversation to another place. Yasunori Nomura, who is eager to see the movie, is currently a theoretical physicist at UC Berkeley. He believes Oppenheimer helped solidify UC Berkeley physics as one of the top programs in the world, but cautions putting him in certain categories. He must have been genuine, really genuine, charismatic leader. And that's really fascinating. Given that his achievement was not super high, it's great. Yeah. It's a great physicist, but it's not, at, say, at the level of Albert Einstein or uh, even Stephen Hawking or those people. Oppenheimer uh, is a very important figure in world history. And some scenes from the movie were even filmed on UC Berkeley's campus, just down the street from the Elmwood Theater. It plans to show the film due to the local ties. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.